Trinity Girl Natural. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Yay, today I'm talking about the Sotanicals chocolate wash day that I had recently. So, I did mention it already in my spring stash video, but I wanted to come on and show you the demo, show you more of the ingredients and everything, give you a more detailed review. So I have the Sotanicals Coco Rasso Butter Shampoo. And I have the Sotanicals Can't Believe It's Not Syrup. Chocolate Extreme Conditioning Supreme. I just thought this would be fun and like aromatic or whatever to have a nice chocolate wash day. So I did that. So I love chocolate, so I saw it and I was like, yum. Plus I think my hair probably loves chocolate. I don't know if it's anything like me. Because I know sugar is a humectant and chocolate tends to be kind of sweet. And also fatty, which is also good for the hair. So whether it's the oils or the sugar, it ought to be a good thing, right? And the chocolate cleanser has clay in it, which I also love. So a little bit extra excitement. So, I'm trying it for the first time. We are trying it for the first time. Let's get into it. Similar texture to the Shea Ayurvedic. Nice cocoa smell. I love it. Yep, I can definitely get used to this. <laughs> it looks like it's going to be whipped. Yeah, it's kind of whipped like the other one, like the Shea Ayurvedic. I'm trying a new technique where I go in under. So, let me try that. So this is it after working it through my hair. I know one person on Instagram mentioned that it wasn't like defining like a Rasu clay wash and she was a little disappointed. But honestly for me when I bought it I wasn't even thinking about the clay. I was just thinking chocolate, chocolate, chocolate because I love cocoa and chocolate. So that's what I was thinking of. So I wasn't expecting a clay treatment. I wouldn't call this a clay treatment. It's just a moisturizing, cleansing, butter, shampoo, cleanser, you know. So don't buy it for a clear treatment, just buy it for a nice, interesting shampoo. And you can tell I'm kind of already saying buy it, as in I think I like it. So I have to, of course, rinse it out, but this is the perfect balance between cleansing and moisturizing that I was hoping to find with the Shea Verdict. So, so far, I definitely prefer this one, because my hair feels like I have a deep conditioner in it, and my scalp feels like, hey, I'm getting clean, you're co-washing me, so... Perfect balance, best of both worlds. I definitely so far love it, but let's keep going. So it's in my hair. Let me rinse it out. <laughs> so this is it after rinsing. I'm definitely happy with it. My hair is soft and my scalp feels clean. Um, it could have just a tad more slip, that's my only thing. But it's not like it has no slip, so I'm fine with it. I was looking for a, a Sultanicals cleanser, and I have found one, so yay, I'm happy. Been moisturized here, mission accomplished. <laughs> Can't even see you Let me get to part B, which is the conditioner. It says deep conditioning street, so I'm hoping it can be a deep conditioner since I haven't deep conditioned in like two weeks. Smells the same cocoa we sent. This doesn't look like it's gonna be too drippy or anything. See you in a little while. Don't go nowhere. <laughs> so my hair does feel soft and moisturized, so that's good. So I like both of them, so yeah, I mean now I have to kind of think about like in terms of prices, in terms of slip, like do I want to repurchase, but yeah, it did good. So I like how it came out, my hair is soft and moisturized and fine, so I'm pretty happy with this result. 
Um, only thing I could have said is like I wish it had more slip, but even then the slip isn't bad. It just isn't like super crazy amazing. So this is definitely something I'll consider repurchasing. Both of them. The cleanser and the deep conditioner. Oh no, I have to rinse it out. <laughs> Hold on, let me rinse it out and get you the final final and then we'll do the review. This is it, final result after rinsing. I do like it, my hair feels really soft, feels moisturized. Definitely watch their success. I started off with the Coco Rasul Butter Shampoo. But it's definitely a butter. You can see it's not really running. So this is a shampoo, but it's a butter. It's thick. It's interesting. I still have a lot more, which is good as well. These are the ingredients. Decalucoside is usually a bit strong for me, but with this, with the cocoa butter and everything, I think it worked really well. And that's what I was thinking too when I bought it, because butters tend to be too much for my hair, and decalucoside tends to be too much in the other way, so too coating, too stripping, so together maybe they might be a match made in heaven. And I just like all the ingredients, the aloe juice, the rasul clay of course, because I haven't done a clay treatment in a while either, months and months as well. I've just been kind of busy, <laughs> so it was good to get a little bit of clay in there. I like the application, I think it spread well and everything, and it's a nice texture and everything. Mm. It has a nice cookery scent and everything, so it's just love, love, love. And my hair was like super moisturized, curls were popping, everything was great, except the slip. Like I mentioned, I just wish if it had more slip, I would have been telling you all Get it, get it. That was the only slide downside, but I do love it. I can probably dip in a little to show you the, let me show you the thing. So you see, it's pretty thick, but it worked in well and everything. Next we have the Can't Believe It's Nut Syrup. I was kind of freaking out about it, thinking it would be like this nut honey that's just very liquidy and very sticky and so on. But I had nothing to fear because this is just like a real normal conditioner. This is the consistency, as you can see. It's creamy, it's thick, it's not super runny. It goes in nice with everything. Aromatherapy for sure. If you love chocolate, you probably enjoy this wash day. And if your hair isn't super coarse, you don't need lots of slip, you might even not even care. I also wish this had a bit more slip for my hair. But, you know, you may not even care as well if you have a different texture. So, both of these might be all love for you. These are the ingredients. I love how it has molasses as the first ingredient. This was super moisturizing and my curls were popping, so... Yay on that. The ingredients look great. It smells great. Great texture. Yummy. Everything was happy. I love that it has cocoa powder really high up as well. You're getting your cocoa. And cocoa is supposed to be good for hair as well. I just love it so I use it. But it's also supposed to officially be good for hair. Not just for scents and stuff. And macadamia nut oil. Okay. Interesting. Sounds fancy. <laughs> And it has a bit of rasul clay as well, which can be moisturizing as well as cleansing. So overall, I definitely love the ingredients of this and I like the ingredients of this. And I had a great and happy wash day with these. I just wish it had a little more slip. <laughs> so that's it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you had fun. I hope this helped you out. Let me know if you've tried the greens butter shampoo or just which one is your favorite. I think out of the two, I want to say this one's my favorite, but now that I'm mixing the shea butter with the kinky curly and it's kind of perfect, I don't know. We'll figure it out. But which one do you like? Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.